Thank you for joining me. I'm continuing my series on growing in the Lord, and my team is relying on God. My dear friends, let me share with you from the word of scripture. St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, 19. And my God will fulfill all your needs out of the riches of his glory in Christ. God will supply all your needs through Christ. Isn't that wonderful? My name is Father Vibert Stevens, Roman Catholic of the Diocese of Bridgetown in Barbados. May God bring many blessings into your homes and into your lives. My dear friends, one of the great problems of humanity is self-sufficiency. Self-sufficiency is the reliance or the ability to rely and to supply one's needs by oneself without the aid of anyone. It is a self-dependent, a dependency. Many of you will remember, and it is still very popular, the song by Frank Sinatra, in which he speaks about having our own way, having my own way. This song has influenced a lot of people and have really touched persons in their experience, emotionally touched people where they feel it most in their lives. It is a song that is very popular and people love it even in different languages. Now, I can understand the song and even myself singing it and love to hear it because it meets many people where the needs are and expressed in such a way how people feel about things and about themselves in the world. I want to propose to you that there is a better way than my way. My way says that I can do it on my own and that in itself takes a lot of things with it. When we struggle on our own, what happens? We find ourselves experiencing depression. We are experiencing abuse. We experience self-hate. We experience loneliness and bitterness and anger. Is it that alone we can do by our self-dependency? In truth and in fact, many of us have achieved through our own self. But in fact, there is no self-made human beings in the world. Many of us fool ourselves to believe that we are self-made and we speak about that, especially in funerals or when we are giving a talk about someone, we say the person is self-made. No one is self-made. It's a fallacy. And self-dependency is also a fallacy. We fool ourselves in believing that we can do things on our own and we can achieve. While it is true that we make some achievement and progress in life, but to what extent? To the extent of sadness, to the extent of inner pain, to the extent of even experiencing hatred of the self and others. That's the problem of humanity. At least one of them, which I will discuss now, which I have discussed now, there are more. What is the other way? The other way is a surrender to God. Because God has everything that we need. And we have to learn to rely on him even more. To rely on God means that we must give up what we depend on and ourselves and know that we are not invincible that we are not so powerful as we make ourselves feel and believe in people and tell in, in front of persons and let them feel that, oh, we are so strong and we are so great and we are nothing but a grass wavering in the wind uh, and trying to survive. No, we are more than that in God's presence and he cares for us. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Root out from our lives this sense of dependency and not seeing you as our savior who comes to give us everything and give us our lives. 
We surrender ourselves to you today. We ask pardon for the times when we diverted from you and from your goodness and mercy. And as we surrender ourselves, we ask you to mold us according to your will and that we give ourselves over into your hands so that you may use us not only to the development of our own selves, but the development of others and development in our world. Help us to reach out to others. As we seek good for ourselves, we must seek it for others too. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me.